Hi, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Pinoy Coder because every day we learn something new. So for today's episode, ituturo ko sa inyo step by step kung paano mag-enable ng Hyper-V Manager sa ating Windows 10 Home Machine. First step is type in natin sa Windows Run Command System Info. To check what version of Windows 10 gamit natin. So makikita natin dito sa window na to, OS name is Microsoft Windows 10 Home. Then version, ito yung ating Windows operating system version. Tapos sa bandang baba, we have four Hyper-V, which are VM monitor mode extension, second level address installation extension virtualization enabling framework and data execution protection. So, lahat ng ito naka-yes, which means capable ng ating machine to run Hyper-V. Normally, this goes through for newly issued laptops. Pero sa mga old machines, you need to double check if it is available or if it is set to yes. We also need to check kung capable or naka-enable yung virtualization feature ng ating computer. In order to do this, kailangan natin i-restart yung operating system natin para pumunta sa BIOS setup. So, punta lang tayo dito sa ating start menu and then i-click natin yung power restart. Then, mag restart na yung ating machine. Ayan, so pagka-restart, just before the Windows icon na mag-appear, kikilig natin itong F12 for Dell. For some computers, gumagamit, ginagamit yung F12 or F2 para mag-boot uh, up siya at pumunta sa BIOS setup. So preparing one-time boot menu. Ayan, pumunta na siya sa BIOS, uh, BIOS natin. So makikita natin dito sa BIOS setup, pag kinlik natin, May from the left side, may makikita kayo dito virtualization. So, i-click natin siya. Ayan, makikita natin dito, enable Intel virtualization technology. So, dapat ito naka-on. Also, from the right side, makikita rin natin yun by clicking view all and then Intel virtualization technology. So, pag-click natin, pumunta rin siya dun sa feature na yun sa option na yun. When on, the system will be able to run a virtual machine monitor. So, dapat ito naka-on. And then, when you're, once you're done, exit na natin. So, it will restart our machine and then we're good to go. So, ayan. Another way to check or confirm our operating system is by going to control panel. So, ayan. Makikita natin Windows 10 and nakalagay dito Windows 10 Home as our edition. Actually guys, naka-disable by default yung Hyper-V. This can also be enabled by upgrading to Windows 10 Professional. But if you look at our folders, especially this path na ipapakita ko sa inyo, so minimize mo na natin ito guys. And then we go to our file explorer. And then put the ties and drive C. Then Windows. Then servicing. And then packages. So yung makikita natin dito Hyper-V. Ayan, itong mga Hyper-V MUM files. Ito yung gagamitin natin packages to enable Hyper-V feature later on. 
also if you notice minimize muna natin to guys minimize muna natin to guys so also if you notice if you go to um, turn on and off features hindi siya naka-enable yung Hyper-V diba? sa professional naka merong makikita natin yun yung Hyper-V na yun the feature pero in this case Windows Home Edition wala siya so paano natin siya i-enable so kagamit tayo ng script guys so ito magpapakita ko sa inyo ito siya so don't worry guys link ilalagay ko to sa description box below para hindi nyo na itatype isa-isa. So, save us lang natin to into a text file. Lalagay natin hyper underscore v underscore enabler that txt or kahit wala ng txt, guys. Or, basta save lang natin siya dun. Then, kailangan natin na executable file, file, file save as natin to, to .bat. Ayan. Then, save din natin siya. Ayan, refresh natin itong desktop. Ayan, lalabas yung dalawang files na ito. So, kailangan natin i-minimize natin muna yun. Tapos, um, open natin yung open tayo ng, ng command prompt run as administrator then uh, punta natin itong Hyper-V uh, enabler file. Tapos, kunan natin yung path niya. Tapos, balik tayo dito sa command prompt change directory tayo sa desktop and then type in natin dito hyper underscore v underscore enabler dot bat so and pag enter natin mag run yung ating script so gagamitin niya yung mga packages na nakita natin kanina sa sa windows machine natin so hintay lang natin to guys matapos This would take us around probably one to two minutes. Ayan guys, naka... Do you want to restart your computer now? I-click muna natin no. 
dahil manually natin siyang i-restart. Ayan, press any key to continue. Ayan, close ko muna itong window. Then, click natin yung control. Itong uh, start menu, then restart. So, mag-restart ang ating machine. Ayan, type natin yung ating password. Ayan, nakapasok na tayo sa ating desktop. So, para ma-check ang ating Hyper-V, punta tayo sa Windows Run Command din. Ayan, Hyper-V Manager. So, click lang natin ito. Nalalabas itong window na ito. Ayan guys, na-enable na natin ng Hyper-V sa ating machine. Pwede na tayo mag-create a virtual machine. So, pagpunta natin ng, ng help and about Hyper, ito yung kanyang version, version 10. And then, ito yung ating uh, Microsoft Management Console na Windows 10 Home Edition. On our next episode, ipapakita ko sa inyo guys kung paano mag-create ng virtual machine gamit itong Hyper-V. So hanggang dito na lang muna guys at I hope marami kayo natutunan dito sa video na to. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Pindutin nyo na rin yung notification bell para updated kayo sa mga tutorials na post natin. See you on our next episode. This is Pinoy Coder. Keep watching because every day we learn something. Bye guys! Through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And I